Hello guys, this is Sumit here once again from Study Hub and in today's lesson, we're going to be learning an important type of question called describe image. Now we're not just learning any describe image, we're learning a particular type of describe image, the one that most of the students find very difficult, the one that most of the students make mistakes with. And this particular type of image is called picture, right? Now this particular image comes under the layer based category of the image. Now if you want to learn, understand these categories properly, layer based, number based, and then the picture based. Now what you can do is you can, you can basically check our course unlimited course which i'll talk about at the end of the video or you can find it in the description of the video but i'm gonna help you with this particular image guys so in this image a lot of students say this is a nice image i don't like it this has blue color which is not my favorite color my teacher has asked me to describe it that sort of stuff and they don't score high in this particular question by doing all these things i'm going to show you a strategy with the help of which you can definitely score high you're not relying on the mercy of luck well if i'm lucky by saying all these things i may get a high score if i'm not lucky i may not get a high score i'm going to show you a strategy with the help of which you will get a score high score right and not only this image i'm going to show you some exam repeated images which are very difficult for a lot of students and i'm going to show you one of the best strategy and the easiest strategy which is going to make your life very easy so guys these so let's look at the first of all let's look at the exam uh, marking criteria guys your marking is based on content pronunciation and then fluency for this particular this is the new score guide which is recently released now according to the score guide in order to score five in content which makes which is the best thing which is the main thing that i'm looking after describes all elements of the image and their relationship now describe all, all elements of the image and their relationship possible development and conclusion of or implications um how to do this now keeping this video short you can read all the other things as well but my focus is no less than five five out of five in content so i'm going to show you how to score five out of five guys you have to cover maximum keywords their relationships uh, uh the, the the parts of the different aspects of the image and their relationship so we divide this image into several parts we talk about the top of the picture the bottom of the picture the it's not about the building it's about the picture top of the picture bottom of the picture background of the picture foreground of the picture top right hand corner top left hand corner bottom right hand corner bottom left hand corner so that's how i've divided this image is right image right so how i'm gonna start is always start always start your image with it with an introduction right so since it's a picture i can simply say this picture is perhaps taken in the middle of a city and it shows a few buildings right and that's pretty much it i have to say for introduction then i need to use some, show some comparison for which what i can do is i can compare the top and bottom i can simply say on top of the picture i can notice white clouds However, there are a few buildings at the bottom. In the background, I can notice clear blue sky and there is a tall skyscraper in the foreground or I can say there is a tall building in the foreground. The surface of the building is reflective glass and there is a reflection of another building which is perhaps opposite to it. In the bottom right hand corner, we can notice another building or another old building which looks like a church, right? Implication, right? Looks like a church. It's not a church, I'm saying which looks like a church, anything which looks like. So what I've done is I've described all the elements of the image. That's the first thing I've done why i'm talking about clouds i'm talking about buildings i'm talking about background clear blue sky i'm talking about tall skyscraper i'm talking about the blue color of the building i'm talking about reflection reflection of another building i'm talking about um, another old building which is in the bottom right, right hand corner and then i'm talking about the relationship when i say however right however shows the relationship there is some kind of contrast there comparing the top with bottom background with foreground Possible development and conclusion or implication. When I say perhaps, uh, which looks like a church, which is perhaps a church. Now these are implications uh, that we are referring to. This is the structure that you can use in order to score high. Now I'm going to show, the, show you this particular structure on different types of images. Let's look at this image. Now this particular image is of a flag that you normally get in your exam. Now sometimes you get these flags with names and other times you get these flags without names so this particular one says united arab emirates and then flag of jordan right so i can simply start by saying this particular picture shows flags of two uh, two countries namely uae and jordan 
right and then sometimes you actually get one flag and comparing two flags is easier but talking about one flag is rather more difficult so what i'll do is keeping this video short i'm going to show you one flag how to describe one flag now let's assume we just have one flag which is this one so guys what i can do is i can simply start describing describing introduction so what is this picture this particular picture or this picture shows the flag of a country uh, in, uh, which has several colors so this picture shows flag of a country which has several colors then I can to compare the top with the bottom I can say while the top has black color the bottom of the the bottom stripe of the flag has green color right <laughs> then I can talk about the middle and the side part I can say the uh, on the left hand side there is a red triangle which has a white star in the middle however the middle stripe of the as a white stripe right that's pretty much it what I've done is I don't need to say all those all those things by saying this is a nice image I don't like it it has blue color I don't like blue color my teacher has asked me to describe it but I don't like it and all that stuff now why not because then you're on the mercy of luck you may get the score you may not get the score now what you're doing now is you're describing all the elements of the image their relationship possible development and conclusion or implications right so now you don't have to rely you may may get the score you may not get the score but you are telling yourself you are going to get the score definitely right the same technique can be used on other images as well for example this image it's a circuit diagram now try it out on this diagram you can use it why how you can talk about the left hand side which has a CFL tube on the right hand side there is a battery on top you can see some kind of circuit diagram and in which current is flowing from negative to positive kind of thing you can talk about the black color on right hand side of the battery you can talk about the golden color on the left hand side so you can talk talk about top bottom right left different colors different aspects is it making sense guys that's how you describe these images and you make sure that you're gonna score high in this particular type of question now i do respect the strategy that you're using if it's working out with for you use it right our objective is to score high but for those who find this question difficult because this strategy is gonna help you comparing top introduction and then top bottom left right perhaps implications right and conclusions now there's another type of image guys another type of image which students find difficult which is a process diagram a diagram like this taxi service workflow a diagram like this plantation to paper now in this particular type of question guys students either don't know the students either don't know what to say or they have a lot to say and they can't finish it all right so i'm going to show you a strategy with the help of which within two lines you can cover this whole image covering all the keywords all the keywords by just saying two lines introduction plus two lines i'm going to show this strategy in the next video and for those for those who are going to subscribe and one lucky subscriber who will get my one hour and 40 minutes of class of describe images for free of course for no charge we'll be sending it on your email or, or we'll contact you via your, via your subscription guys um make sure you subscribe we'll contact you from there and in that particular lesson i'll have i'll have described a lot of or, or in fact all the types of images um, which are exam repeated right um, but for this one I'm gonna make this next video in the next video I'm gonna show you how to describe these type of images how to describe the brick making process brick laying process or, or brick manufacturing process how to cover this whole image within two sentences along with the introduction of course right that's what we're going to be learning in the next class i hope it was helpful guys for those who want right training for those who want us to help you pass this particular exam for those who are struggling with this exam guys you can check out our online course we have got hundreds of students online who are taking online training from study hub they're getting scores almost every day and you can see what type of scores are we getting uh, i'll show some of the scores on this video which you can see on the screen right now uh, guys these are the scores that we're getting every day almost every day um, how are we doing this every every student all these strategies for strategies for all these question types are we've made pre or i personally have and my team has made um a lot of 
videos which you can look at if you're finding this video helpful these videos are less than five percent of the actual course uh, you can watch these videos you can basically or if anybody you see has commented they have they have taken the course you can comment underneath and ask them how's the course to, to find out more about this course um, don't waste money on giving multiple exams again and again because um, uh, exam is expensive get it done one, once properly because if you've just taken two exams you you actually have have taken the you actually have paid more than the training and the exam fees itself right if you even if you have taken two exams take the training first get the scores in one exam uh, take proper training you'll be every student is de gets a dedicated teacher who helps them every day now our students who, who take offline training or in-class training they can only ask us questions when they are in the class but online students can ask us questions anytime during the day they are they have access to the whatsapp group they have access to the the private number of the teacher on which they can ask question anytime as well as the email response they, they can send their work teacher sends them the feedback most of the work is um, kind of assessed within within a couple of hours unless it is late night then it's done by I mean next morning and we do provide to try to provide as much as possible support uh, as much support as possible in our online course check it out guys there is a free course as well and I'm sure you're gonna love it right good luck with your preparation and I'll make the next video about um, process diagram stay tuned subscribe the channel so you can so you don't miss out on the important content good luck with your training thank you